can dance Every dance with the guy who gives you the eye Let him hold you tight Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. How are we doing? How's the evening? I like to say happy Friday Eve to everyone. So we've got a nice crowd here this evening. Um, my name is Erica Pittman. I am uh, a lot of things. <laughs> I've been a television personality. I am a, uh, a brand ambassador. I am a, uh, a child of the culture. Um, I'm all things music, culture, love. Uh, but I'm mostly here to celebrate this amazing project that we're all here to see tonight, um, Heart and Soul, A Love Story directed and created by Kenny Vance. So I want to start the evening off really quickly with just a little small bit of history. Um, I'm not sure if everyone in the room knows this, but we are currently in uh, Black uh, Music Appreciation Month. Uh, yes, uh, Jimmy Carter actually uh, uh, proclaimed Black uh, Music Appreciation Month in 1979, and every president thereafter proclaimed it during their administration. Joe Biden actually, on May 31st, proclaimed Black Music Month um, as well, and in addition to that, he's commissioned a committee for arts and humanities, um, of which uh, many executives sit on the board. One representative uh, happens to be really important this evening uh, from the Americans for the Arts, um, who goes, goes on is quoting our, our, excuse me, quoting, I just got this quote five seconds ago and I was trying to incorporate it. We're very excited about it. Um, he, he shared a quote regarding the movie that I wanted to read out loud to you guys. I thought it was very important. Uh, so the president and CEO of Americans for the Arts, Nolan Biven says, rock and roll is America's music. Preserving and telling the stories of these artists, especially those that aren't widely known, is so important to our understanding of how our music evolved to where it is today. I commend Kenny Vance and his mission to shine a light on these musicians and their place in American history. Let's give it a round of applause for that. It's really important. And you know, I think, I think that's a perfect segue to what we're about to embark on in this journey and the story of these untold heroes and unsung heroes of the culture. Um, you know, my generation and generations before me and even before that have been impacted by the doo-wop era and the movies, the music from the 50s and the 60s. And so many of these amazing artists have not had the opportunity to have their stories told in a deep and meaningful way. And what we're about to see tonight is going to change that. So I'm very, very excited that we're here. To kick off the night um, and to remind us how youth has the power to shape the world, let's give it up for pioneering hip hop artist, uh, excuse me, and legend, Christopher Chris Reed from Kid and Play. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? All right, give it up for Erica right there. She's smooth, right? So you can whip it out in me. I got this quote. I just want to get it up in here, okay? <laughs> Last minute. But it's great to be here. This is going to be a great night. Um, my name is Christopher Reed. Uh, you may know me as Kid. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Smattering, smattering of applause. Thank you. You may know me from movies such as House Party. <laughs> House Party 2. And in an amazing display of thespian risk, House Party 3. <laughs> the public demanded it. But it's not about a house party tonight. It's about heart and soul tonight. This is Labor of Love by a gentleman I had the pleasure to meet a couple of nights ago, Mr. Kenny Vance. And uh, it's amazing. I got a chance to, uh, to watch it over the last few days. And it really is amazing. And um, one of the things that really struck me was um, how many parallels the doo-wop era had with the era of hip-hop, which is my era coming up. Doo-wop, hip-hop, but it's, it's bigger than that. So many different parallels, so many ways that they, so many things they have in common. First, they were both created in New York. New York! All right, New York, <coughs> New York, <coughs> New York, <coughs> a little smoky right now, New York. <sighs> Where y'all at? Not Kansas. 
Smokey. New York Smokey. Created New York, which is the greatest place on earth for things to be created. And not only that, but it was, the foundation was built by kids from the inner city. Kids that, you know, maybe wouldn't have had, wouldn't have made it. You know, but the, the music spoke to them. There, there was passion about the music. Um, and they were crews, you know, they were, you know, there were four or five cats in a doo-wop group. Hip hop, there's four or five dudes in the group. You know, you, you know, you had you had Jay and the Americans, you had Dion in the Belmonts, you had uh, uh, so many groups of four and five. You had Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. You had the Funky Four. You know, you had different personalities that stood out in that doo wop rock and roll era. That sometimes there was a hip hop equivalent. Okay, there was crazy people in that. So you know, look, y'all had Little Richard. Y'all had Little Richard, right? We got Kanye, all right? It's, it's, uh, that's tit for tat right there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Little Richard don't look that crazy now, do he? <laughs> After this dude, huh? There was love songs, the doo-wop. Beautiful, beautiful love songs, right? Only you, right? Hip hop, bitch better have my money. That's a love song. You ain't know that? Love song. Man. There's parallels, There's parallels, okay? Beautiful thing. And having a chance to meet Kenny, Kenny is something else, man. He is a walking encyclopedia. He's like a human Google. <laughs> Ask him anything about anything, he'll remember it. It's 1956, <laughs> the Capitol Theater, Wichita. <laughs> like it was yesterday. It was incredible, but there's parallels. And, I, and I'll tell you this, there are parallels. When you watch this movie tonight, You'll see Kenny uh, performing, right? Performing beautifully with, with the band and everything. And check his hat out, all right? Make sure you check his hat out that he has on when he's performing. If that ain't a Run DMC hat, I don't know what the hell is going on, okay? That's a Run DMC hat to me. But the beautiful part of it is, you know, he's, he's helping take us on this journey. It was, like I said, it was a labor of love. 10 years in the making. And one of the things that you'll love about this is his humanity and his respect for that culture, that doo-wop that set the tone for rock and roll, that set the tone eventually for hip hop. So uh, I'm, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. If you don't mind, I wrote a few words down that I'd like to uh, let y'all know. You mind if I get busy on this? Can I, can I share this with y'all? Yeah, this, this is kind of like my ode to, to, uh, to Kenny. And, uh, and how I felt after watching the film. A young man from Brooklyn had a dream. Music was the goal, but he needed a team. A sound was in the air he couldn't deny. It got in his blood, so he had to try. But the powers that be couldn't see. Doo-wop is a fad, most definitely. But the fans grew in numbers. Kenny V could count. The music was religion. The church was the paramount. So the journey began. It was hard and long. They poured their hearts into every song so strong. And before long, the world would know. This doo-wop thing would grow and grow and grow. And it lasts to this day. The love never goes away. And that kid from Brooklyn, <laughs> he's a wise man now. If you come around, he'll tell you sit down, and he'll tell you how. How much he loved this music that he got to sing, and how he gave it everything, heart and soul. That's my time, you I appreciate that. I know you're going to enjoy the music, the movie. Peace to Kenny. Thanks to the Grammy Museum. Love y'all. 
Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. That was amazing. I got you. I you got see, you. This is why you have to let the professionals do what the professionals do, right? <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, so, guys, I'm not going to take up too much time. We're going to dive right into this amazing project. But what I would ask is after the credits roll, we stay because we have a special uh, fireside chat with Mr. Kenny Vance and, this ama and the amazing Miss Brandy Victorian. So stay tuned and enjoy the, the movie. Thank you.